So, uh, you and I, this is Sully, Five Freaking Onion Rings, and, uh, first off, smash that like and subscribe, because the YouTube algorithm hates it when you don't, and they don't promote anything, and I'm small enough already, and I want to, I, I like having a community, because we come together and we do great things, and I love it. So smash that like and subscribe, if you like this. If you don't, hit the thumbs down. It's cool. It's cool. I won't take it personally. But you and I, who have been together for about two or three years now, we got to have a talk. And so you let me think that I didn't need to fly FPV because things were settling down and the, the hobby's gotten, you know, it's not stale. No, no, no. It's just the, the big innovations are digital and things I don't really do right now. But I took my T-Row 69 and I flashed Betaflight 4.2 and Jazz Maverick 16.78. Uh, if you want to see that, let me, let me know down below and I'll be glad to do a tutorial on it. It was super simple, uh, especially for flashing. Like Betaflight developers just do a great job with that. So do MU Flight developers, so anyway. But it's Jazz Maverick. 16.78 and Betafly 4.2 development version because I wanted to see what was different. And they had a new uh, PID arrangement to where now you can't update your gyro loop frequency, but you can update, you can change your PID tune. So it, it's gyro's already at 8,000, like locked, and that's cool. And PID is 4,000, or yeah, PID loop for Jazz Maverick and for RPM filtering is 4,000. So D shot 300, 4000 on a T Row 69, 20 amp ESCs, F4 flight controller. It's a Maytech F411 with those tiny little bi blade props. And the more I fly these, the more I like them. I haven't even, I just flashed it, made a couple of changes, made in flight. Here we go. So, first, I want you to notice that my battery started off at 3.91, and this is one of my two and a half year old batteries that has been abused all the hack. And the last time I flew it, I got about two and a half minutes of flight time. And I think I get a little bit more than three. And part of that's due to that Jazz Maverick. Um, I'm using the 96 kilohertz firmware, which is supposed to help with smaller motors getting better, um, better flight times. And so far, it has worked. Um, recently, I did a flight that was seven minutes long with, this, with a new version of this 550 battery on this quad. So I, I can get a good bit more flight time out of it. Now for beta flight itself, I am blown away by just how good this feels. Um, I, d I do have a tiny bit of prop wash. I did zero PID tuning though. So, and uh, the prop wash is normally whenever I'm flying directly backwards into my own prop wash. So it's, it's going to bobble no matter what. But I feel like with a minor amount of tuning, you could easily, easily set this quad up to give to anybody and they will be happy with it. Now I will say um, I've flown this same quad with MU Flight and Beta Flight and I still prefer the way MU Flight sticks feel. Uh, there's something about you know you, you just flick and it just kind of reads your mind. With Beta Flight it's a little more mechanical feeling which is totally fine so if you move your sticks where you want to go you will get exactly what you want. I just, uh, something about MU flights feels better, but with this Beta Flight 4.2, it was so easy to, to flash and tune, set up RPM filtering, and the motors sound clean as heck. And if you've listened to any of my last couple of live streams, um, whenever I'm doing the actual testing. Oh, by the way, crash recovery works, because I just slammed the hell out of those two things. But um, yeah, if, you, if you've been on my live stream with the, when I was testing these out, after this flight, um, the, the, the motors sound really good. And uh, yeah, so anyway, yeah, they, they sound good. But um, yeah, so Beta Flight 4.2, I was just really, really happy with because it was a flash and fly effort. Uh, and I had nothing to worry about. Also, that RPM filtering, just having it is nice. And it's um, that's one thing I wish MU Flight got. But uh, one of the MU Flight developers told me that whatever's in 0 
coming out is going to blow my socks off. So I'm, I'm happily waiting for that and I can't wait to try it out. But, um, yeah, for beta flight, this one, um, this was the last of the development versions. I believe they locked all the code after this, so they're probably getting ready to release it soon. And it's it's phenomenal. Uh, flies, like I say, right out of the box without any issues. I was able, uh, this is one of my older batteries that normally would have died at two and a half minutes, and it's dying now at about 3.15, and it's just really good. Anyway, we're going to cut back here, so I'm going to land it and right in the tree. And now I'm unplugging it. And I gotta tell you, motors are cold. Like, like, like I hadn't done anything. Like they are cold. Props are good. And holy cow, it is super twitchy, which I love. Uh, no real bobbling. I could tune it, pid tune it a little bit better. Um, I just messed with the sliders a bit. I could pid tune it better. I will fully admit that. But, holy cow, 4.2, uh, big thumbs up. I can't wait until it's out and all the features are in the configurator because I don't believe they are right now. So I don't know many of the new things, but 4.2, holy cow. So I got to ask, you know, like, why'd y'all let me go so long without flying and without flashing? But if you want to see how I flash it or any of the quads, let me know down below. I've done a lot of those, but I have no problem because I have three or four more quads I've got a flash because I am definitely moving up to 4.2 uh, right about now. Yeah, it's pretty good. So smash that like, smash that subscribe. Let me know what you think. Links are down below. They're affiliate. They do help me out, especially since we're all in this uh, quarantine mode, you know, where we can't go outside very much. So I only got my front yard. You know what I'm saying? But smash that like, smash that subscribe. Uh, if you want to purchase one of these, it's $69, which that's pretty cheap. The Diatone Ishin ER349 is down below as well. It is a premium flyer uh, for about $140, and that comes with a really nice setup. So if you want to like, step off a notch, I, I would go with Diatone line. They're phenomenal. But for me, flying around the front yard, I'm not the best pilot. I'm out of practice. But this thing, Beta Flight 4.2, that's all I got to say. Just thumbs up. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good one.